What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Noah Igbenogany, um, our second-year corner. He hasn't gotten much playing time since he's been here, but he did play against Jacksonville. Um, definitely seemed live that he gave up quite a he gave up a couple plays. Uh, definitely got mossed in the end zone for sure. But um, let's see what it says on the All-22. Fast forward a little bit. That usually clears it up. Um, by the way, game pass is super glitchy still, so we'll see. He is number nine. Following LaVishka Chenault a little bit. I do like the effort there. Now, I'm not going to break down like every single play here because the thing with DBs is sometimes they're just not involved in the play. Like, for example, over on the other side, Justin Coleman. Trevor Lawrence is going over here. There's no way he's going to get involved in this play. <laughs> like, he runs over here. Good job. At least running over here, but there's not always something for me to really say. That's just the nature of DBs. All right. Got all everybody back in zone. Now, one thing I've seen a couple times, and we've seen this throughout the times that Tua, I, I mean, yeah, not Tua. I'm sorry. I, by the way, if I say Tua, it's because I literally j am recording the Tua Tongvaloa video and this one back to back. So if I say Tua instead of Noah, I apologize. Um, but one thing that we've seen from Noah is that sometimes he just tries to lower his head and just try to hit people rather than try to wrap up and tackle. And he's not actually that powerful to be able to really pull that off. So I like him to kind of fix that. Okay. That guy in motion. That looked like cover three to me. Actually, it's quarters. Because Brandon Jones is dropping back as well. So, handled that fine. Just playing as assignment. This is a cover three situation. We've got Javon Holland as the single high. We've got Coleman and Noah as our uh, corners in cover three. Now, um, Coleman immediately responds and tries to get past the running back or past this guy. I think that's actually Tavon Austin. Um, to try to help with this run game, Noah's just kind of standing around. He doesn't actually try to do anything until he reverses field. I'd like him to come down and. Try to play a little bit of run support. I know you're not the best tackler in the world, but at least look like you're doing something. All right, cover three. Good job here, though. Running back's going to come over here, comes down. See, he'll get physical when he has to, but he's not going to go across the field, really, it seems like. Where Coleman does do that. Interesting. So I realize that we're in zone, but I feel like he should be reading the quarterback a little bit here. He knows that no one's coming in his zone. Either go and help with Chenault, come over here and he's just not reading it very well he, he's a man coverage corner he's not really his own guy 
Never has been. For some reason, that's how we play him when we have to use him. But it's not really his bag. All right, top of the screen. Got him in motion. Okay. So here, let's take a look. He's on, I can't. I, I don't know who that is. But he's on him. He kind of follows him in motion. Looks like him and Nick kind of communicate. Nick picks this guy up, and now Noah is on Marvin Jones. And Marvin Jones is going to kind of take him for a bit of a ride. Boy. Good thing Trevor didn't see that. Javon Holland came over to help. That's rough, Noah. Good hustle, though, from Justin Coleman, but we're not looking at Justin Coleman. Noah doesn't play much, so we need to use this opportunity to kind of scout him now because... He doesn't play enough. Maybe there's a reason. <laughs> Alright, we're going to cover three situations. They're just going to run the ball. Yeah, he ain't really hustling to go make a tackle. It seems to be pretty consistent with him. Okay, we got two deep safeties. Boy. <laughs> oh, man, he is not good at zone. He's really not. Because here's the thing. Zone does turn into man once they cross your zone. And he doesn't look like he's really trying to shadow him at all. He just let Tavon Austin go. And Tavon Austin ain't the type that you want to let go. He, he, he'll he get some yak on you and take it all the way. Cover three. I do like what we're doing with our safeties here. We're showing that we have two deep safeties, but it's actually not the case. McCordy's actually going to stay, and Holland is going to drop back. Also interesting that we had McCordy, Rowe, and um, Javon Holland out there. I mean, I guess it makes sense with our lack of uh, corners that game. Oops. He ain't trying to make tackles. <laughs> Just for reference, what did Justin Coleman do? You see how Justin Coleman like rushed to at least be in the area? Just in case this guy broke a tackle or something? Noah did not. Yeah, Marvin Jones got his hands on it, but he wasn't really trying to get Marvin Jones off of him. And I'm not even that big a fan of Justin Coleman, to be honest with you, but... One sec. Sorry about that. Game Pass completely crashed on me there. That sucked. Let's get back into it. And now it does this. It fucking skips the play. I fucking hate Game Pass, dude. I hate it. They've completely broken it.
Alright, I guess we just can't watch that play. Fuck it, I guess, right? It's so shit now. Alright, no. Alright, got a penalty on that one. Okay. Playing off of them. Looks like we're bringing pressure. Nothing for him to really do on that play. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, we got a single high look. We're in, looks like we got Noah in motion with Marvin Jones. So that's man. Marvin Jones beats him consistently, huh? Boy, did he <laughs> make Noah think he was going deep. <laughs> Didn't recover super well either. Marvin Jones is a good receiver, don't get me wrong, but... Noah shouldn't be dying like that. Need you to read that a little faster. He doesn't particularly actually look to be that good at man, really, anymore either. He's more of a man coverage corner, but Marvin Jones is slaughtering him in man. He doesn't really process the field fast enough for zone. Like, look how slow it... Well, I guess he couldn't really. But Trevor's arm is already going. Like, it takes him way too long to be able to realize this. Come on. Bruh. He's still sitting here fighting with the receiver. Looks back. Sees the running back. He's still... He ain't trying to get over here. <laughs> he blocks himself so he doesn't have to run over there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Noah. Also, Justin Coleman is not a great player either. We notice something here. When he's dropping back with zone, he's not completely turning his back to his receive to this receiver. Like he's still keeping his eye back there, but look, look at, look at Noah. Like he completely turns around. He doesn't even know what's going on behind him. Goes out to his spot, but again, he's just not reading this. There's no one coming to his side. Like, we need to be able to read this shit faster. Holland too, really, but that's not who we're looking at right now. Looking at cover three. That's not bad. That was just a straight up go route though. 
There was no like subtlety to it, so there wasn't anything for Noah to die on. He's just gonna kind of stand there. Okay. Boy, you're lucky he dropped it. Again, you're turning your back entirely. <sighs> Damn it. All right, looks like man to man coverage. Got a single high, looks like Javon. But boy, he got cooked. That was the running back, too. How did he get cooked like that? Gave him a little bit of an inside step, which made him move inside and hesitate, and that just allows him to just take the edge. Boy. He recovered because Trevor didn't see it, but he sold no that he was going deep. That's <laughs> that separation. Trevor just doesn't see it in time. Hey! Running back comes this way. Noah finally steps up. Looks like he wants to try to help. He's not actually going to get in there, though. Come on. Clear up. You sack of shit. Thank you. Alright, we got Noah in motion with the running back. Running back cooked him a little bit too. <laughs> this was a different route, and he was just supposed to just keep going. Noah would have died. <laughs> this is Jacksonville, too, man. to say there for him. All right, let's showing single high, but it looks like we're moving another safety back. Why are you still blurry? There you go. Now he's actually going to crash down. Okay, so it's just straight up man to man it looks like. Yeah, this way just mosses him. <laughs> it's actually not bad coverage, but he's like right on his hip. He just mosses him. But here, though, he just doesn't jump soon enough. Like, he gets his head around way too late. His ball skills just aren't there. That just goes to show you the times he's been beaten. If if Trevor actually would have seen what was happening, it'd be a lot more big plays. How long are we going for? We good. This one probably won't be as long as the Tua video.
Let's not take another look. I guess not. Guess I can't. Game Pass won't let me. All right, kind of playing off of them a little bit. Lag. All right, giving them space. Looks like we're probably going to bring some pressure. Give them about five yards ish. Drop them back into zone. Yeah, when you're giving them five yards, don't turn your back, dude, especially then. Because if Trevor would have been looking at this side, this... Mm -mm. The running back and Chanel. Need to see that a little bit faster. Holland is getting over there, but Noah needs to see that faster too. He just let Chenault run past him. I think he's assuming that Trevor isn't going to throw it to him. But once you see Trevor th throw it, I need you to haul ass over there to try to try to help there. Try to bat a pass down. or If that ball would have gotten batted a different way, you might have been in position for a pick. You never know. Like I said, he'll go in and try. Uh, boy, <laughs> he ain't trying to tackle nobody. <laughs> he did it because he had to there, and even then, it's like, eh, not really trying. I don't think he'll be on the field here. He is. Actually, right here. Yeah, he had an opportunity there to like dive for him or something. Like, take a look at him. Like right there, you could have like dove for him. He just trips. Cover three look, running the ball, okay. I don't know why you're trying to block no Igmanagami anyway. He ain't gonna actually run to the running back. Alright, looks like we got man to man. Running the ball. Yeah, it looks pretty lackluster to me. It's like cover three. Oh, he's going to come down. He ain't trying to attack another one. <laughs> he ain't trying to get physical. Yeah, 
Because to me, like, you're finally getting your opportunity to play. Like, to me, you should be looking for every opportunity to shine, whether that be tackling a running back or whatever. Like, he tackles when he absolutely has to. Alright, he picked up the tight end pretty well there. Good job there. Need you to come over, don't just stand. Huh. <sighs> Feels like if a play isn't going directly to him, he's not gonna really show effort to try to get over to get over to it. He ain't gonna really try to get off Tavon Austin here. I'm recording. One second. My bad. Ordering food before uh, breakfast closes. Okay. My bad. Good little play from Holland and Noah. They both read that well. Yeah, that's the, uh, the turnover. That's the double turnover there. All right, we got Noah over there. Let's see what we got. All right, I'm not mad at that, Noah. You realize, you know, Trevor's in scramble drill. You just go over and help guard Marvin Jones, make sure you take that away. I'm not mad at that. All I'm thinking is, I'm glad that we do have Byron and X if they're healthy. <laughs> they usually are. Um, this definitely shows me that I don't want to let X walk. Alright, we got Man. He is not good with press coverage at all. Look at that. Like, if this actually was a go route, LaBishka Chanel would be in the end zone already. <laughs> That would have been bad. All right, down here. He bites really easy, too. Not very good at sticking to his guy's hip. My bad, I had to find him on that play. Here he is.
Got a little bit handsy with the tight end, but that's all right. Didn't get called, so it's fine. Right here. Like the communication. It's just frustrating. We got this fumble. We got a turnover on down. Like we did score on the on that drive, but still. Super handsy, flying there. He has to be, because otherwise he's not that good on high press coverage. And really, the only reason that this works is who is that? Uh, uh, Jalen Phillips. Yeah, Phillips kind of jams him a little bit too. That's how he's able to stick with that running back. Can't really depend on your edge rusher to help you in coverage, man. Shouldn't have to. Unless it's by, you know, actually getting pass rush helping you in coverage, and that's great. But Alright. Him and Javon Holland worked to get... Well, Javon Holland had to come over here because he were getting whooped, but... Just gave up that inside. Looks like man to man, single high safety. Eh, it's actually looking like cover three now. Yep. All right. Looks like a zero blitz. Pass rush got there. What a Javon. What, yeah, not Javon Holland. No, it's getting cooked by the running back. Good thing the pass rush did get there. Running back was murdering us. Reading that slowly. Game pass getting blurry. Gotta love that. Boy, game pass is just fantastic, ain't it? So glad I spent $100 on it. I need you to see James Robinson a little bit faster. That's wide open. I need, I need him to crash down. But he's not that good at man coverage, and he doesn't process the field well enough for zone, so I don't really know what to do with him. It's kind of a bust to me. Well, not kind of. He doesn't even play. He is a bust. This is what, his second year now? Yeah. 
Like, I understand that your assignment, like this was cover three, you're supposed to just go deep. But at some point, you have to process the field and realize there's no one coming to this side. So go and help your, just go and help your team. What the fuck? Just go and help your teammates. Go help Eric Rowe with the running back. Do something. Man. Bruh. Let's just wrap this up, man. I I'm, I'm going to just go to the last drive. Game pass is tripping. Come on. All right. Fuck it. Clear up, you piece of shit. All right, he's down here. There we go. Penalty, anyway. Don't pay for Game Pass, guys. I wouldn't be using it if I wasn't a content creator. All 22 is the only way you can really do videos like this. Alright, nothing to really break down on his part. Von Holland made a good play, though. Okay. Boy. Stick close to that man. Why are you just staring at him? Run with him. Thank God the pass rush got there. Alright, this is just prevent defense. This ain't even his fault. You're supposed to do that with this type of defense. But definitely attack his side. He ain't trying to attack on nobody. So I would definitely go to his side with prevent defense. I'm sorry. Where is he? This him? Yeah. Okay. I was looking at Jerome Baker. Just give up the inside. I feel ya. That's what you attack with prevent defense. Just is what it is. But yeah, not a really good showing from him. Um, I was asked to do this film session, and I and I do prefer these uh, these more targeted um, film sessions where I'm looking at specific players or a specific position group, stuff like that. Um, I think. It's better content. I think it. I can be more detailed with it. Also, with me breaking down the entire offense and defense, we've, we've been having these same exact issues all year long. So that, there's only so many times I can say, oh, the offensive line is bad. The offensive play call is bad. Our receivers are dropping passes. Penalties off across the board. And then on defense, <clears throat> oh, we can't tackle. Miss assignments, penalties. Like, there's only so many times I can say those exact same things. So these more targeted film sessions where I'm looking just at Noah or maybe one week I'll do just Javon Holland or whatever. Um, if Noah hadn't been playing, I probably would have been looking at Javon Holland this week instead. But we don't... But Javon Holland plays every week. We rarely get to see Noah play. So it was important to take a look at him. So... Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, hit the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.